Today I'm going to build a rear bicycle lighting system. I'm going to design the circuit and 3D print some pieces. I'm going to make two different versions. Welcome to Joy Plains RC2. First of all, the design. I'm using Fritzing, an open source software. It's very useful to design PCBs, schematics, and so on. This circuit is extremely simple. It's actually very similar to one we did in a previous video to make strobe lights for our RC airplanes. The difference is that one uses potentiometers and this version uses fixed resistor values. There are two different versions. One will use four LEDs and the other will use just one. Once the design is ready, we export as a Gerber file. Then you must compress these files into a zip or RAR file. And to order our PCVs, we go to PCVWay.com, which is the sponsor of this video. We have to input some data about our PCB, like the size, thickness, and some other options. The other options are selected by default, but feel free to change them according to your needs. If you order 10 PCVs within a size of 100 by 100 millimeters, the production cost will be $5 plus shipping. You will also have many options for shipping services. China Post is the cheapest one. And lastly, you will have to upload your file. They will review it and then you will get a confirmation email to make the payment. The production time will be around 24 hours. They also offer a Gerber visualizer so you can preview your PCB. And after waiting for a few days, I get the package. Let's take a closer look to the PCBs. I have ordered them in two different colors to see how they look, and they look amazing. The quality and finishing is very professional. And now it's time to put all the components in place and solder them. The main component is the 555 timer IC. You will see a list of the rest of components in the screen or in the description of this video. I have designed this PCV to use exclusively THD components or through hole technology, which are easier to find and sometimes cheaper. Pay attention to the alignment of the IC according to the board. That's very important. And finally, we put the LEDs. And we are ready for the first test. It's hard to tell on camera, but the brightness of the LEDs is very powerful and it can be seen from very far away. And now let's make the second version, which is minimalist. It uses the same components, but only one LED. The process is exactly the same, so let's see the final result. Since one LED doesn't have enough wide angle of visibility, I'm going to use a lens. This lens will rearrange the rays of light, making it more visible. Here you can see the difference. If you're wondering where did I get this lens, I got it from an LED light bulb. This LED light bulb needs this kind of lens to redirect the light in a more efficient way. I also did some experiments using different kind of LEDs to see if I can use the same circuit for the front part of the bicycle. Using different LEDs needs different kind of voltages, but for the front of the bicycle we might design a different circuit in another video. And then I'm going to use Fusion 360 to design the cases to protect our circuits from external elements. Thank you. 
and here you see the finished parts. For the final version I used black filament. It's time to think about how we will attach this to our bicycle. I printed this little system that I designed before, but it has a little problem, and it's that I cannot tilt the light if I need to. So I went to Thingiverse.com, and I found a user that is building a similar system, but he has a better mounting system, so I'm going to use that one instead. So let's put everything together in its final form. With this design, I'm thinking about the possibility of putting the battery inside the case. I had to take this little battery from another device, because the ones that I had won't fit in it. This one is small enough to can be carried inside the case. I soldered the battery directly into the voltage input, and on the other side I'm going to solder a battery connector to be able to recharge the battery. It would be possible with an USB charger, specifically made for one cell batteries. And finally it's time to mount everything on the bicycle. And this system is completely ready. Let's go back to the other version. I designed and printed another part for the case. That way we will protect it more from the external elements like water. To protect it even more from moisture, I covered the components with hot glue. And I finish off this project with final details. This is optional. And it's ready. Let's go out and see how it works in real life. In my opinion, it looks really awesome. It looks like a light system that you can buy in any store, except that I built it myself. And now let's change to the second version. It also looks awesome. According to my testing, the batteries can last for about 3 hours of continuous use, so you'll be safe on the road for a while. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave a like, and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next project.